All right, thanks very much, Deepti, for that. Clearly, the breaking news that's coming on Republic now for our viewers for the very first time. The audio tapes are going to be revealed that are going to be showing the conversation between the complainant in the sexual harassment case against R.K. Pachori, as well as the complainant herself. These tapes have been submitted with the Delhi police and they are proof for the first time on tape of the sexual harassment, the intimidation and the threatening ambience in which the complainant was working. Remember, Arki Pachori had been charge sheeted by the Delhi police in the sexual harassment case. He also had to leave Terry in 2016 where he had to resign, but it was actually something that he had to go through after he was fired. The breaking super exclusive on Republic that we are bringing for our viewers for the first time is these audio tapes that are very clearly establishing the intimidation, the trauma, the horror that the complainant went through. It is in Feb 2015 that she had filed her case for the very first time against Archipachori of sexual harassment. It is later that the ICC, the internal committee of Terry also said Archipachori is guilty of sexual harassment. Only much later, the Delhi police also charge sheeted him. The case continues in a lower court in Delhi, but even as she submitted these tapes to the Delhi police, it is the Delhi police sources that have given us these audio tapes and are so Sources clearly tell us the Delhi police has yet to take action on them. These tapes have not been submitted in a court of law. Let's first listen in to what these first time on air tapes reveal of the intimidation, the trauma that the victim went through. I don't know. You can tell me. I can't tell you. You are me, sir. I, you are not like putting me in a position to decide here. What? What do you mean why? You've troubled me so much in the past few months. You can just tell me whatever you were thinking. No, I'm not going to give you any more. That's for sure. I mean, I, you and I are not going to work together. Other than that, I mean, it's your choice. You decide what you want to do. I mean, I told you you'll be treated as an honored guest. <clears throat> now, do you want to do it? So my question to you is that I know why you're not going to give me any work. What? I know that very well. What? Uh, but my question to you is that uh, what Aap makes you think... Ho? Itni baar to aapne like bol diya hai, ye email pe meko likh ke diya hai, such like ridiculous reasons because I refused to go here and there and not no, sit no, next no, to I, you. I, I, it's been accumulating apparently that I say no to travel no, and stuff like that. That's very insulting. I mean, to say how that is I'm it insulting? Going. I've made it very clear to you. You do what you want. You hang around, but I've also made it very clear to you that I am not going to be. That's, that's what Once you're... again, I am telling you it's not my problem if you don't want to give me any work. How is it my problem? You... So, if you don't give me any work, why did you give me a contract for 3 years? That's why you should say that. You should have a notice period for 3 months. 4 months. 4 months. Then you give me a notice. Why? 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 I've oh. taken a decision. I'm not so, going to give you any work. That's so very clear. What follows next is my question. That's your problem. That's not mine. Oh, I had no give problem. Then. The problem only came up when you came up with this terribly insulting and offensive decision that I'm not going to sit next to you on the flight. Damn it, then I don't want to work with you. If it's so damn difficult for you to travel it's, with me sitting next to me, then I'm sorry. There's nothing that you and I can do together, finished. It's as simple as that. Forget it. I mean, do you realize what you did? I mean, just think about it coolly at some stage and ask yourself whether that was 
an utterly stupid and offensive statement that you made. So what you go around asking me is not offensive to me? What do you mean? Asking me about my love life and all. You can tell me, okay, I don't want to talk about I've it. I've told you, you so many times. I've told you so many times. I mean, if we have this level of uh, allergy to... There's no allergy. I've me, told you. Yes, of course. If I'm me. not like comfortable with it, why, well, why should fine. it be so fine. this thing? Okay. Right. You will, you see... If I am telling I, you... I don't want to argue about it. I made my position. Yes, I came with you with that thing okay. in the hope that you would try to understand put me in economy and feel ki chalo theek hai she's not comfortable fine you know let her be there yeah forget it okay i'm sorry you you refuse to look at it in any way other than what suits you we just heard for the very first time on Republic the audio tapes that are clearly showing the connection and the intimidation, the harassment between R.K. Pachauri and the victim, the complainant in the sexual harassment case. While hearing the tapes, what strikes me most is the kind of words that have been used by R.K. Pachauri when he says, if you, don't six ne if you don't sit next to me, then it's fine. I'm not going to be giving you any more work. It's clear. Either sit next to him, take his advances, his advances, his physical advances, let go of his inappropriate gestures to you, you can continue with your work. Let's once again, for the viewers who are just joining in, play those audio tapes that are clearly proving the harassment, the intimidation, the threats and the mental trauma the complainant in the sexual harassment case against R.K. Pachauri went through. I don't know. You can tell me. I can't tell you. You are the teacher. I, you are not like putting me in a position to decide here. What? What do you mean why? You've troubled me so much in the past few months. You can just tell me whatever you are thinking. No, I'm not going to give you any work. That's for sure. I mean, I, you and I are not going to work together. Because other than that, I mean, it's your choice. Decide what you want to do. I mean, I told you you'll be treated as an honored guest. <clears throat> now, do chow for So, sure. my question to you is that I know why you're not going to give me any work. What? I know that very well. What? Uh, but my question to you is that uh, what I'm makes you think. Yo. Itni baar to aapne like bol diya hai, ye email pe mere ko likh ke diya hai, such like ridiculous reasons because I refused to go here and there and not sit no, next no, to you. I, I, it's been accumulating apparently that I say no to travel no, and stuff like, like that. That's very insulting. I mean, to say how that is I'm it insulting? Going. And I've made it very clear to you: you do what you want, you hang around. But I've also made it very clear to you that I am not going to. That's, that's so once sure. again, I am telling you it's not my problem if you don't want to give me any work. How is it my problem? You, so, if you have a contract, you can't get a contract. 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 You can't get I've taken a decision. I'm not going so, to give you any work. That's so, very clear. What follows next is my question. That's your problem. That's not mine. Oh, I had I'll no give problem. It me then. The problem only came up when you came up with this terribly insulting and offensive decision that I'm not going to sit next to you on the flight. Damn it, then I don't want to work with you. If it's so damn difficult for you, to travel it's, with me sitting next to me. But I'm sorry, there's nothing that you and I can do together. Finished. It's as simple as that. Forget it. I mean, do you realize what you did? I mean, just think about it coolly at some stage and ask yourself whether that was an utterly stupid and offensive statement that you made. So what you go around asking me is not offensive to me? What do you mean? Asking me about my 
love life and all you can tell me okay i don't want to talk about i've it. told you, you so many times i've told you so many i mean if we have this level of uh, allergy to you there's no allergy i've me. told you yes of even course if i'm me. not like comfortable with it why, why should fine. it be so fine. this thing okay you will you see if i am telling I, you i don't want to argue about it i made my position